Hello, how to solve this cascaded exponential problem? This is t to the power of t to the power of 4, and this equals 64. Now, because we have 4 here, what we can do is to raise each part of this equation to the power of 4. This is t to the power of t to the power of 4, and this is raised to the power of 4, and this equals 64. We also raise this to the power of 4. Now, we are going to consider this identity, but before that, we are going to treat this t power of 4 here as a unit, and also we are going to treat this 4 as a unit. So let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n. This equals a to the power of n. And this is raised to the power of n. So we will be making use of this identity. Now look at it here. Like I said earlier on, t power of 4 will be treated as a unit. And we will apply this left hand side first. So the t power of 4 now represents our n. While the 4 here represents the m based on this part of the identity. Now, since I said that we are going to treat it as a single unit, meaning that we will apply this other part of the identity right here. And this means that the n is now inside the bracket, meaning this 4 comes inside the bracket, and a t power 4 which is the n, is now outside the bracket based on this identity. So let's do that. And don't forget the fact that t still remains the same. I have t, which is this t here, raised to the power of now m, and our m is 4. And this is raised to the power of n, and our n is t power 4. So this equals 64 raised to the power of 4. Now, what happens here is that the base and the exponent are the same. t power 4, t power 4. And this is in the form of having a to the power of a. Now, if you consider this right hand side, the base and the exponents are different. So for us to solve this, this base here and this exponent must be the same, so that it will be in the form of b power b, or c power c, or d power d, so that we can easily equate the exponents. Have you seen it? So we need to ensure that this 64 and the 4 are the same. How do we achieve that? Remember, I'm going to copy out this 64 out. I have 64, and this equals 64 is a perfect square, which is 8 times 8. And this is just like writing 8 to the power of 2. 8 times 8 is the same thing as writing 8 power 2. So I'm simply going to have t power 4 raised to the power of t power 4 is the same thing as 64 here is a power 2. I have 8 to the power of 2 and this is raised to the power of 4. So right now I can apply this index law again. If I have a power n raised to the power of n this equals a power n times n. I apply this identity right here. So I'm going to have t to the power of 4 raised to the power of t to the power of 4 equals a to the power of 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So take a look at this equation. The base is the same as the exponent. The base 
is the same as the exponent. This now satisfies the condition of you have a power a and this equals b power b. That means a equals b. So, going by that identity, we have t to the power of 4 equals 8. So, we need to solve for t. That means we need to get rid of this 4. So, for us to get rid of this 4, I can decide to multiply this exponent by 1 over 4. I have t power 4. Raised to the power of 1 over 4 equals 8 raised to the power of 1 over 4. So, I can multiply this exponent based on the same identity of a power m raised to the power of m equals the power m times m. So, if I multiply this out, I will have t to the power of this is 4 divided by 4 and this equals a power 1 over 4. Right now, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I have t power 1 equals a power 1 over 4. So from here, t power 1 is t. I have t equals a power 1 over 4. Now, this is correct. We can still simplify this answer. Remember, 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. We have 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So this is just like writing 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 4. And if I multiply this exponent, this will give me 2 to the power of 3 times 1. This is 3 over 4. This is correct. But we can still further simplify this. Remember, if you have a power n divided by m, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So the 3 is our n, and this is my m. So, and the 2 is my a. So using this, I'm going to have the fourth root of 2 to the power of and this equals, remember like what I said earlier on, 2 power 3 is 8. This is just like writing the fourth root of 8. That is 2 times 2 times 2. So this is our final answer. Now, what we can do will be to check if the value of t satisfies this equation. I have checked. My t equals, I have 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Or I also have the fourth root of 8. But we are going to make use of this. Because this is simpler to work with. I have t power t power 4 equals 64. Meaning, my t is 2 power 3 over 4. This is 2 power 3 over 4 raised to the power of 2 power 3 over 4 raised to the power of 4 equals 64. So, going by the identity, a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m. I'll multiply this out. That means 4 times 3, that is 12. 12 over 4, that is 3. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of 3 over 4, raised to the power of 2 to the power of 3, because obviously this cancels this equals 64. So from here, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 3 over 4 raised to the power of 2 power 3 is 8 
equals 64. From here, 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 4 is 6. I have 2, 3, power of 6. This equals 64. Obviously, 2, 3, power of 6 is 2 into 6 places, and that is 64, and this equals 64. So that has proven to be correct, and that is it. Thank you and goodbye.